And we're on to the back nine at Bandon Dunes, the original, the OG, and many say the best at Bandon. My first time through the track, I had this closer to fourth on my list, but it's definitely climbing this go round, and the back nine is where it really shines. This is the third round and the second day of the buddies trip. Bodies have recovered a bit, the nerves are waning, and the golf is improving. After a double bogey on the first hole of Bandit Dunes, I've bounced back and righted the ship. A front nine, even par 36, means we have an outside shot of shooting under par, and we start the back nine with a good tee shot. Make sure to smash that like and subscribe so you don't miss the rest of the Bandit content, and tell me what your favorite set of holes is at Bandit in the comments. on the ground. Okay. I'm thinking 95. 95. Hope the bird eat your ball. <laughs> it will do that. Bird took a, it was it your ball that got taken last? It was, yeah. TK oh, chased, is, is TK it chased it with oh, a golf club. Dude. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that, that that's a risky proposition with those balls right there. I know it is. I'm trusting, I'm trusting my caddy here. Are we going right at well, it? Well, <laughs> uh, a little bit right of it. And you like 95 in it. Yes. Matt says trust it. The caddies really make the experience abandoned but it's not always easy to trust the number. Uh, gotta go. Flipped at it. I'm working too hard. So I've now seen a crow pick up a golf ball and then a pack on five green, a coyote came up and picked up a golf oh, ball. Really? Try to bite into it. After a tentative second shot, I'm putting from just off the green. The old Texas wedge. It comes back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... And that's well done. An easy par on hole 10. The 11th hole is a short par 4. You just gotta miss the fairway bunkers. But with generous fairways, it's bombs away. You don't get many days like this at Bandon. The wind is about as calm as it can be out here on the coast, and the course is in great shape in early July. Yeah, it's kind of that knob right in front of us. Yeah. Walk up there and look at it. Yep. But on the green, it runs left. It, it does. Okay. Hundred percent. Okay. So I probably need to get it forty. I need to get it to the front. Yeah, of the I think forty is yeah. perfect. Release a little bit for you. Yep. Yeah. Skanky. Set, baby. Kind of skanky. What a terrible shot. 40 yards. All right, we got putt. Not ideal. We'll keep grinding. Should be a par at worst. I don't hate it. I, yeah, I don't hate it. I got to get those wedges better, though. I mean, slide right the green on 11 is interesting, and I had just a short wedge in, but so that's not an area of my game that's sharp right now. I haven't been practicing, and a mediocre wedge leaves some meat on the bone for a two-putt par. First golf bag left yeah. your post. Which post? Your little stand? Yeah. I think it goes, so let's go left golf bag. But yeah, it's gonna, we're gonna try to just put this in the corner pocket there. Coming in at nine o'clock. All right. Trust it, buddy. Flat or up? It's definitely a little up. Side hill, slightly uphill, for sure. The greens at Bandon aren't quite as tricked up as at Old Mac, but you can find some slopes to contend with, and this putt has quite a bit of curve to it. Stay up. I don't get that high enough, but again, an easy par on number 11. Hole 12 is a medium length par 3 back towards the ocean. We got a little wind in our face, and the AI caddy and Maddie the caddy are saying 7 iron. Yeah, you can't be long here. What's six, 80? Six is 80. I like seven because I can hit it hard. I mean, if I hit a hard seven, I can get it 75. Well, let's go then. I like seven. The cover's only 50. Again, caddies make the experience. They've done the loop so many times and get you out of your own way, choosing the right club for the job. So good hard seven. It's the first hole built on the resort right here. Can we go at it? Uh, yeah, a little right of it with the draw. Toey got a goey. 
Get out. Just like the Caddy and Tangent. Great job, oh, that, buddy. Touch on the toe. We'll take that. Fuck yeah. I'll Give me the, Jay, what was that? Despite the strike being toey, we got a pretty good birdie look here to get under par for the round. Similar, a little less your distance, but I think it's still out here. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Up the whole way. Just, uh, it's going towards the ocean. I think it's just flat. Even birdie pace, I call it flat. A good effort, but it's just a three. Good run, dude. The 13th hole is a par five and heads back away from the ocean for a bit before we hit the home stretch and the signature 16th hole. All the par fives at the resort are pretty reasonable when the wind is down. Started at that tall tree, yep. a little draw, especially with the upper line, I think it's really going to draw. And I mean, it's two, 225 front edge, you know, I think you can sneak it. There's no trouble up there, so why not? Yeah. Right at that tall tree, a little baby draw, I think it draws a lot. Yeah. Do your thing. Let's knock it up there. Oh, no peel! It's trying. Come on, it's coming. It's a little late coming. I mean, it wasn't bad. Might be up there, be close. It got got pretty high. I don't hate the strike. I mean, off a slope like that, no, you know, contact. just don't do something stupid. Just launch it up there, yeah. go. <laughs> okay. I put some sauce on this, and it sits nicely for a good look at Birdie. <laughs> I like where it is at all. Carlos had a similar shot, and there's the danger. Doesn't make it up the slope, and he'll get to try again. Yeah. And I have just six feet for birdie. It won't come back. I do think it's kind of straight, but it should go just slightly left the whole way. Yeah. Right edge, up the hill. Like, yeah, I like right edge. Let's do it, bud. Birdie pace. Confident. Confident people. I've been hitting these well, but that's two poor putts inside seven feet in the last four holes, where I'd be two under par in this round. It's and butts, but golf is golf, one shot at a time. I put a little extra into the tee shot on 14 and almost go through the fairway, but we catch a piece and have another short wedge. For a little extra on that one. Uh, it's just gonna, if it's rough, it's just, it's 120 yards. I don't, I don't, think, those are, I don't think those are in the rough. I don't well, I'm good. Good. Oh. I feel like I had to try to keep up with Sean. Didn't leave a lot of room for there, there, but we'll take it. Okay, that, that's all it's got 75, a little help, just, I mean, 70? Yeah, 70, even with the false front. A little help win. Oh yeah, I guess it is a false front, huh? Yeah. Maybe favor a touch right? Yep, exactly. Okay. Just one big kill. I'll have another good look for birdie from inside 10 feet. Yeah, you're saying go. I thought it was good. Take that. Now he's got to make a putt. Hey, Matt. Playing well. Ball striking is solid. You have a gun? Just got to get hot with the flat stick. Matt, this is a big one. This is the big one? Doesn't look like it does much. Yeah. All right, we want this. Just eight feet. but it's another missed putt. It'd be easy to get frustrated if I were focused on score, but as much as I want to shoot under par out here, perspective is everything. I'm at Bandon Dunes, the weather is perfect, I've got three of my buds with me, just keep stacking up good shots. You enjoy these bunkers out here. Hey, it's been a pretty quiet day out of the bunkers. This one? This one, and we were in this up and down. And we do that with a good tee shot on the par 315th. 
even with being heavy, will have 40 feet for birdie. Fairways and greens. The best parts of Bandon are the in-between, chatting with the boys, enjoying the views, but it's time to focus on this birdie putt that I leave well short. Uh, I like that one. I think it's perfect. A little bit up still. Stroke it. I'm working a little too hard on this hole, and now I need to make one of those tweener putts for par. And it goes in. Golf. Good, go. Good par there. Keep the dream alive. Let's go. I can't make them for birdie, but pars are good. The 16th hole is the signature hole abandoned, a short par four right on the coast with views for days. You're right on the cliff, so anything to the right is dead. There's some room to the left if you know where to hit it, but it's one of the more intimidating tee shots on the track. It's an unbelievable hole and an unbelievable walk. That's probably my favorite part of going to Bandon, putting the phones away and just being present. Great shot. Perfect. You can hit the ball, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like it when he swings harder. Like sometimes he just like that's what I said. Like, he's not making the, the hard day, move. Just start out. making a move. Yeah. Like don't be bitch, just hit the thing. Yeah, exactly. That's he's the best way to get to hard. Scared of ten of them. Yeah. Easy to do. Okay, eight yards. So it's seventy-three middle. Just playing eighty. What does it stick? It stick is seventy-three. I can't. I can't pick it up with the gun. But middle is seventy-five, and that's kind of where the flag is. Middle of the green. Okay. Yeah, the range finder says seven. So. That's not it. Yeah, I think I think 80 is fine. Into the wind. Okay. A little left of it. But 80, non adjusted for wind. So I probably got to play this 90? No, that's, that's adjusted. Or you think, okay, you think 80 is the number? Yeah, you can't get the two overzealous. Long sucks. Short left is totally fine. Okay. Yeah, I like 80. You like 80. Left side. Left side. Left side all day. Okay. Yeah, pretty good swing on that one. The 16th has a tricky green as well. A diabolical bunker guards the front. Long is dead, right is dead, and it's one of the smaller greens. I'm glad just to be putting. Take that, I did not want to hit that again. That is an intimidating shot. Nothing but ocean behind it. Gotta cover a bunker. Carlos almost holds it. Jeez. I've got 21 feet for birdie. And it's just not meant to be. Even par with two to play. But just drinking it all in. Matt, my caddy, gave me a new strategy on 17 that I kind of love. Rather than laying up or messing with the gorse on the right, just blast it left. And if it's in the rough, it's in the rough but an easier angle to a well-protected green with a shorter club. Yeah. That's fine. Good ball. Good ball. Hit hard, no faults. Totally fine. Yeah. I think I like that better than laying up and having more. I, I, I feel like if you have more advice, you know, into it, not that great. especially with that pen and this yep. wind, then you're just... No chance. Little cross hurt, just 80, same shot you just had. And I go right at it, it's gonna kick a little bit left. Okay. That's it, man. 70 shot. A little fly or lie. I'd play at 80. Play at 80, okay. Uh huh. Use that wind to your advantage, it should just sit down pretty nice for you. Cover and set. Should. Yeah, great shot. Thank you. And we'll have another good birdie look. It almost goes back to the right there. 
Yeah, it definitely goes back right. But it looks like there's just a little more left than right. Yeah. I'd say it's just a half a cup. Yeah. And then right through here, it starts to get kind of straight. I don't think it's going back, but it definitely gets straight. Half a cup. The boys have circled this hole and cleared the stage for a 15 footer for birdie. I've been working hard. Time to make one. Great three. Yeehaw, baby. Nice birdie, Thank Sweet. you. Finally, we're one under par for the round. The 18th is a par five back to the house. You can see the building, the fire pit. It's a good little hole. Plenty of room for a tee shot. Just blast it. Let's go, low. Which, even with a slight block, I find position A. We'll have a shot at the green in two. And now that I birdied 17, I'm not just thinking shoot under par. I'm thinking shooting the 60s. Two hundred club. Two hundred club? Yeah, is it a five? I think I'm gonna hit a five. Let's do it. I think I like the five. At the Adirondack chairs over there on the left. The whole green kicks up to the right, so Oh it kicks up to the right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like that. You know, if you're playing the draw, you can get a little bit. I think bit. I'm going to hit at the halfway through those windows. Yeah. Because it's not going to go right. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. That's, That's the best swing of the day. Right. I've got just a little over 200 yards to hit the green in two. Just a five iron that needs to land short and hop on. I just need to miss the one greenside bunker. Two yards, you son of a gun. Should cover with the wind. Oh, ah, didn't. It's a good shot, though. Yep. I'm gonna have to hold. Right, this we don't bunker. need to cover that bunker. Let's just I hate thinking about score, but after three misses inside ten feet on the last nine holes, I'm getting greedy. I want eagle. Come on, baby. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. Sean nukes it over the green in two. And when we find my ball, it's not pretty. It hit the rake, it was stuck under the rake. Yuck. It goes in the bunker by inches, gets stuck on a rake, and now I'm in big trouble. Oh, dude, you got it, man. Play it out left. Nothing to it. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot harder to make it now. Far enough back. This is an awful lie. The ball is well below my feet, and I can barely fit my body in the bunker. <laughs> when I hit this, I thought it was great. No spin, and it runs all the way over the green. Little unlucky there. I can grab you something different. I don't mind the 56, because once you're over the top, it's going to roll out pretty quickly. I gotta carry it to the top with this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You wanna go like pitch and wedge and bump it up there? No, I think I wanna stick with the club I'm comfortable with. Yeah. Just gotta try to. And gotta, it's not pick a good number. Yeah, it's not lightning going down the hill. Just. Just gotta get it to the top. Yeah. Get it to the top, man. Let it do its thing. A little left. Of it. Matt says all the right things here. This wasn't a super hard shot. I just picked a bad time to pick a bad one. If I'm being honest with myself, I wasn't focused on this chip. I was still stewing over the bad break being in the bunker. Break par. I had a chance to break 70, and now I'm going to struggle to break 72. I would have to hold this putt, so I give it a run. The wheels have come off and I've lost focus. I run that well by. Right edge. I think it's I think it's just dead straight. Stroke it. Just keep doing what you've been doing. A disaster. That gets worse. 
double and a one over par 73. At times like these, you gotta quickly shake it off. I played well, really well. One bad kick into a brutal eye in the bunker is the difference between shooting one to three under par and one over par, especially with doubling the first hole. In fairness, I didn't handle the chip on 18 well, but hey, I'm at Bandon with good buddies and I have 18 more holes to play today at Trails. That's called perspective and we'll build on it next time on The Good Miss. It'd mean a lot to me if you'd smash that like and subscribe, leave me a comment on your favorite part of the video or Bandon and let's build this thing. I'll see you next time.